so much of healthcare, we live these extremes of humanity where we can see, you know, what could be despair and self-destruction, or you can see hope and beauty and love, right? And 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 the, it's all of us have that choice every day, of which light we're going to see, right? Whether we go to the dark and see the despair, or whether we have the hope and see the dignity. Peter is our Chief Clinical Transformation Officer, and the title implies what we're asking him to do. So Peter brings all of that skill and all of that experience to population health management, access, quality, finding ways to do things more effectively, more efficiently, mm -hmm. higher quality, better outcomes, and he's uniquely qualified to uh, really work in all of those domains in a very effective basis. We hired Peter because of his expertise in population health but his ability as well to take care of individual patients and his clinical background was enormously helpful because he brings a credential that uh, not many people in the world have. So I um, <clears throat> came uh, to Cleveland and uh, had a meeting with Tom Zenti and said, you know, I'm really passionate about finding a health system that would um, allow me to work committed to improve value and really to create a model for value in the country. And the impact in just six months has been really remarkable. I can share with you some of the data that we just had, but it's really um, just phenomenal. So within six months, we um, increased the um, percent of people going home after hospital discharge from about 68% to now 80%, 78% over all of them. Some of our hospitals are at 80%. The percent of people having a primary care appointment follow-up when they're discharged mm -hmm. uh, from about 2% to 62%. Okay. We have reduced the um, cost of post-acute care by 25%. I think. So you're still using checklists? Uh, yes, we're using checklists. And, for example, one of the... Um, uh, checklist that we have is literally going across the care continuum within the hospital. They all have very specific goals on their on their hospital checklist. How are we re implementing protocols to reduce length of stay and complications? Yeah, I was wondering. You said it had a checklist had an enormous influence on healthcare. Uh, how so? One of the lasting impacts of the work we did in infections was to change the belief that harm is uh, inevitable. This checklist has been applied to surgery, to pneumonia, to I mean, uh, for, almost to defects in value now that I said it's really kind of caught on to summarize and simplify what does the evidence say we should do. So how would you describe your husband you know, as a researcher? As a, uh -huh. um, uh, methodical, um, persistent, um, he brings good ideas to the table and then helps think through uh, good analytic approaches to make sure that we can actually study and know if it makes, whatever that intervention is, makes a difference. In his current position, I get the impression that he's trying to change an entire system. Um, is that unusual among hospitals? or? Uh, no, I think many hospitals are in different stages, you know, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, with Peter at the lead where UH is probably at the at the leading edge of that, but I think this is the reality most health systems are, are, are confronting. When you talk about preventive care of keeping patients well um, or, or helping them get back to wellness, yeah. you know, all the things you need to do, that's a lot. Yeah. Right? How do you think he's going to do? <laughs> he's been pretty successful so far, so I don't see that changing. <laughs> yeah. Peter is uh, an eternal optimist. Okay. Uh, Peter loves large-scale projects. He enjoys making significant improvements in the care of patients. He has a lot of energy. He's a brilliant individual. He's extremely well read, hmm. uh, very well liked across our entire organization, and the kind of person who has a, a real magnetic personality yeah. uh, draws people to him in, in so many ways because of the fact that he is a gifted intellect, but at the same time respects people, and uh, his motives are always to improve the care of patients across the world. What really drives my passion is we've shown with the checklist that we could take one problem 
and reduce it by 90% across the country, mm-hmm. right? And, and, you know, save a t- ton of lives. Right. What I want to do is now broaden that and say, could I now take one health system and eliminate defects and value with this t- t- checklist that we're printing out to you so that we make health care much less harmful, much more uh, affordable, and much more patient-centered? 